What is going on, my Elio friends? This is Joker88. We are back for another episode of Let's Talk Elio. And before we get started, let's take a look at our reservation count. From our previous video, guys, we actually had 572 reservations left. And today, guys, President's Weekend, we have 400 remaining reservations left to lock in your $7,300 base price. So, how much have we gained then, guys? We have gained 172 reservations. That's awesome. Let's just keep it going, guys. Really exciting. We're getting really close to the end of all the reservations. And all, I know everybody is waiting for that magical 6,500. What's going to happen? Do you guys remember the Y2K issue? Remember that a while back, 1999? What did they say? They said that, what, after um, midnight when the clock changes and then the dates roll over to 2000 and everything's going to fall apart? It didn't happen, right? So people are saying that this is not going to happen. It's going to happen. Because you know what today we're going to be talking about? They've been doing a lot of work on their engines, guys. So let's let's do that right now. So what is going on with Elio Engine? So the improvements to the Elio engine, this is what uh, we have for this week's blog. I know that Paul Elio is talking about that Elio Motors is one of the first American company to actually create their own engine, right? So that's awesome. And their engineering team constantly looks at the engine and find ways in areas in which they can make improvements as we conduct various simulations and design studies. So let's look at some of the potential enhancements in areas such as fuel consumption, friction, gearing, and weight. So let's check out this photo that we have uh, of the engine actually evolving over time. So this one's a pretty, um, man, pretty low-end CAD design, right? And then it, it turned into this motor here. See the oil pans in the bottom. Getting a little bit better. You're seeing the manifold here. It's just like a straight uh, three-cylinder. Getting even better here. And we started seeing the iteration of this one on the very last one. Again, this was designed by IA. That well known for designing BMW motors as well. So that's where we're at right now, guys. And let's see what else you talk. So they looked into three areas in which the team found improvements to the engine, the intake manifold, the exhaust manifold, and the front engine accessory drive. So let's take a look at the intake manifold here, guys. To develop the best possible engine, uh, the, the engineers uh, first determined the best possible materials to use. The intake manifold on the engine has changed over time as we endeavored to identify the right material. Through the countless of hours of testings, our team narrowed down to possible materials to steel, castings, and composites. So the analytical testing were able to conclude that the composite is the best choice because of the adaptiveness to various ranges of temperatures, weight, and manufacturability. So there's our manifold. The next one is the exhaust manifold. So similar to the intake manifold, the engine's exhaust manifold endured a battery of tests. So these guys are busy working on it, guys, so they can determine the correct materials. Running the CAE test using both the casting and steel tube design, they concluded that while a steel design is more expensive, it is the correct choice for the engine. The steel tube design is preferable because of the lower weight, better durability, and its tuning of the motor and effectiveness in managing the gases. So the placement of the tubes have been precisely calculated to ensure that our fuel usage is maximized because that is the biggest selling point of the Elio, right? Is the super high miles per gallon. So I'm down with that. And then the last part that they talked about is the front engine accessory drive. There have been several significant changes to the placement of the components on the front engine 
The air conditioning has shifted now from uh, to the lower rear portion of the engine to control the noise, vibration, and improve the cabin experience. The 120 amp alternator is positioned at the top of the motor to offer the most effective means of balancing the motor and providing the proper amount of tension on the belt. The size of the bracket has been significantly reduced to reduce weight and improve manufacturability. We have placed the belt tensioner onto the interface, making it easier to change the belt. Nice. Also, the water pump has been placed in the front side of the motor. So the totality of these changes to the FEAD makes our engine much lighter, more efficient, and easier to manufacture. That is all key right there, guys, because when you're dealing with high miles per gallon, well, weight comes into effect there, right? And aerodynamics. So I think we got it covered with the aerodynamics. The car is shaped very efficiently to cut through the air. Now that uh, they've been working on making the motor lighter, right, more efficient, and easier to make, that's a win-win for all of us, right? All of us. So the motor is made up of over 200 components, not including fasteners and weight, approximately 181 pounds. That's not bad. That's like a standard person's, uh, standard adult male. Each component and pound of our engine has been meticulously probed and analyzed for potential improvements. The improvements to the exhaust manifold, intake manifold, and the FEAD are just a couple of examples of the commitment to building the best possible vehicle, guys. So, Elio is working hard to get this vehicle on the road, and I know a lot of you guys are so sick and tired, sick and tired of all the the negative that we, the negative news that we get about Elio and all those other things. And also for the people that would leave comments saying that they feel bad for us, they don't. We we did this on our own. Will, no one put a gun to our head and said, go put a deposit down on Elio. So you guys can call us dumb, stupid, hey. But the bottom line is we are trying to help out this company, an American company, to start building cars here in America from the ground up. Who wouldn't want to get behind that, right? So, I'm behind it, and don't feel bad for me and all my other friends that are putting the deposit down on these cars. Even though it's taking a while, we are hoping that they will put out the best possible product in the end. All right, guys, so that's it for our quick show this week. If you guys have any comments, please leave it below. And please don't forget to share our videos and like the videos. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure you get the word out. We have 400 reservations left. You can get your friends involved. Um, it's going to get really, it's getting close to the end here, guys. So I hope that we have a great week. And I will talk to you guys next week. And stay awesome, my friends. Bye.